Henda, you are now entering a space for black history. Welcome to black excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. We got a hundred and seven views! <laughs> We got a special announcement to make today, 7th of November, mm-hmm. 2020. Give it up for the one and only Saul Peluka. <laughs> so the next milestone, Saul, are you ready for this? We're trying to fill up uh, Sun Bet Arena in Pretoria Ooh. on the 15th of April. <laughs> For our 1 million subscribers what? event. 1 million! 1 million! Hey, yeah, but I'm scared about this one, so. But they said we couldn't come because you are coming and you're not a fan of us. Hi, hey, hey, who said that? Yes. 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 Stop Kia. that question Kia. I was Kia. coming for you there. <laughs> All right now. <laughs> Kia, Kia, Kia. 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 Yes. Like this one going on TV wearing a t-shirt. <laughs> Thank the wardrobe to support me. And as you feel, I've got nice clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I saw a fucking bottle in Sun City 2012. Oh, no. No, like about this kid, I'm... Oh God, how do, how, how do I put this? Because um, he claims he's replacing you or he has replaced you. <laughs> that's what he said. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're hearing, <laughs> even on the streets, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Please welcome our friend of the show, Mr. Kupulo Phil Mpela. Filimon! 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 I'm going to get Gardner. I'm going to get Gardner. No, bro, but Filimon, Filimon, Filimon. Yeah, man. I'm going to get Philips. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. Yeah, that's wrong. Normally, you're really short for something. Kupulo Khael. Kupulo wants it. Kupulo wants it. How do we introduce you? You're an entertainment blogger, social media person. No, uh, entertainment commentator. Entertainment. Social com- media and all of these things came later. So uh, I'm an entertainment commentator. I always say to people like, you know how you watch soccer and you've got soccer commentators? Yeah. Just put entertainment to that, then you'll get what I do. Marum Dala film. You started this yeah, in 2002. Bro. Yeah, he was around when, what's brown sugar? What was what that brown thing here? Lelo and them were around. They used yeah. to put the taste I, I, even, of time. Even before Lelo. that. Even Lelo before Lelo Boyan, that. Yeah. Remember. Even before that, like, I mean, um, I got to job back in 2002, so I was studying at FUBA. I don't know if you remember FUBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that was a great initiative. They should bring it back, you know. It was an institution that gave um, young black creatives who wanted to get into the industry an opportunity to study with people who already work in the industry, you know. It was a great, great, great initiative. And it was funded by, you know, government and all these entities, so you didn't even have to pay. So, yeah, so I got here in 2002, got into that. Um, I thought I was going to be a scriptwriter or an actor. Um... I realized very quickly that I can't act. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank goodness. I'm not many. I, I, you know what? Like, <laughs> like who? Uh, oh, uh, she has, don't make me throw stones at you. <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So, you tell you, one day I'm bored. Um, I think I might have been broke as well. I don't know what was happening, but I met an internet cafe and I was trying to send an email. I was still using Yahoo at the time. Yahoo. Yeah. So, remember when you go to the internet cafe, you pay for five rand. So, I've, I had like two hours to spend there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just sending yeah, that email. You know what yeah. So, I'm just doing my thing, doing my thing, and I, I, I come across a website called TVSA. That's where the Lelos and them were, you know. Oh, yes. uh, and I wrote um, an article on there, a blog oh. on there, and it blew up. And it had nothing to do entertainment. I think it was called Seasonal Lover. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So What's that? Seasonal Lover? I was basically saying that, you know, you have a lover for a season. 
Yeah, <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah, yeah. About winter, yeah. But, uh, I was young and stupid, so it doesn't matter now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's what started it. So once I got to TVSA, um, I've always been a lover of, of the entertainment industry. You know, I'm, I'm the kid who didn't play soccer, who didn't do anything much, but just sit at home and watch TV or read magazines. Yeah. You know, that's how I even learned English. Isn't Katla Compello your cousin? He is. Oh, wow. Yeah, my mother and his mother are sisters. Oh. Well, so. <laughs> are you guys close? Um, not really. Um, w- I was born in Brett, so, you know, like um, a lot of my relatives are, you know, guys, and Kato was born and raised there as well. But my mother left there to go back home. Mm. So I was raised to go in Northwest, you know. Mm. So um, my, all my cousins, everybody's in Ugasi Brett, but I'm, I'm more, you know, I'm more mm, 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 <laughs> yeah. mm. Okay, so now you're writing the blog, yes. Yeah, so I wrote the blog and um, I... People seem to kind of like, you know, uh, receive it well. Mm. Um, and there wasn't anybody who was actually doing entertainment commentary in that way. Mm. You know, I was like, damn, why am I waiting for somebody to employ me? Let me just create a career for myself. Mm. Uh, I'm going to be that guy that if somebody wants to interview somebody on television, on radio, whatever about television, they'll call me, you know. Mm. So I made sure that I knew everything that was happening in the business. I built a contact uh, list for myself. And um, as they say, the rest is history, you know. Okay, I think the great thing is that, I mean, I was a TVSA for three years. Yeah. Um, at some point, I was like one of the people that was writing most of their articles there and doing interviews and going to events for them and all of them. They were not even paying me, mm. you know. But I knew what I was doing. I knew that I needed to get into these rooms. I needed to get into these spaces to kind of like, you know, get to know people and build my own contact list. And as soon as I was done, 2007, I was like, adios. Yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, and I started my own blog. Yeah. You know, um, that's when I started making money. I was an influencer before they were influencers. Wow. Because really? our brands would pay on my blog, uh, you know, for me to write something about their campaign or, you know, if a celebrity is associated with their campaign, they want me to, you know, you know how they do this brand mm. brand thing. Yeah. So I did that and then Twitter came along and um, I jumped to Twitter and yeah. Yeah, because I know you from Twitter, man. I yeah, and people think that I blew up on Twitter, but yeah. they don't understand that I've been around, you know what I mean? I've, I've, been, a, I've been around, I've been uh, I'm writing about the industry, I've been doing industry stuff long before Twitter came along. Yeah. yeah. But shout out to you, man. He's Thanks, the one who wrote man. about um, our event, 15th April, Road to 1 Million. Yeah. He's, he's the only one. one for real. Yeah, wow. he's the only one. Oh, nice. He's the only one. He's He's still waiting for Chris Excel and <laughs> <laughs> all the other guys. <laughs> Colbert. Colbert, you're just sitting there. Chris is a fan, though, yeah? Chris, I know, Chris, I know. Chris, Chris no, is a huge fan. We love Chris. Yeah, we love him. Yeah. Yeah, he's problematic, that one, but yeah. So so now, in 2023, yeah, your Twitter, how many followers you got now? I think about um, 500,000 K. But you see, but that's the thing about me. That's that's why even with my uh, companies that I work with and clients that I work with, um, I always emphasize that when I'm trying to get more money from them, that um, my influence is not on Twitter, but it's got cross-pollination. So if I put something out there... um, the YouTubers will pick it up. Oh. We'll see it on their videos. Um, oh, yeah. Even mainstream yeah. media even will yeah. pick it up. <laughs> yeah. We we speak about some of the stuff that he breaks. Yes. yes. Oh, He's got, yeah. You've so, got the credibility. Yeah. So that's, I was getting there. You yes. see a smart voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I always tell people that don't chase numbers, especially on Twitter. Don't chase numbers. Chase credibility because that's what's going to sustain you beyond, you know, the platform. So if Twitter were to die tomorrow... I'm still going to be okay, you know. Mm. Elon is taking our badges uh, <laughs> on the first. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to pay the 280? I Hell no. I don't have to. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm film payer, yeah. so why would I want to be paying? Yeah, you know, yeah. Blue, blue mark. Yeah. I mean, in the beginning, yes, it was very helpful because, you know, it gave you credibility. People mm. were like, oh, he's even very fine. Right. But mm. now, even, I mean, what Chris Excel are getting very fine. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't have value anymore. So, yeah, yeah I'm not paying that. Is the money, are you making money now? Uh, I've never had a nine-to-five job. Yeah, you know, that even that's kind of so outside that I'm in. Um, I bought that with money that I've made doing what I do. You know mm. what I mean? Uh, I live comfortably. Mm. You know, um, I'm not an opulent guy. You know, I've never been. That's why Instagram never worked for me because I'm not. I'm not a fleshy kind of guy. Mm. Uh, but I'm good. I'm. I'm making a living. How, how much money are we making? How much money are we making? It depends. Yeah. You know, like um, I could do a campaign like um. I did the wife spaces. There were four spaces or whatever. The wife. The wife, the show. Beautiful When show. I did the space for them, I think it was season two last year or whatever. Uh, I made 80 grand from that. Mm. But I did a space for Big Brother that paid me way less than that. You get what I'm saying? Way less. Way less than that. I think I was... They were, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Big Brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I made, no, but I made a lot of money from Big Brother. Yes. Big Brother, you know, because I remember I was... Um, 
promoting the show, doing the spaces and all of that stuff, you know. So I can't say, oh, I make 100K every month because it doesn't work. Wait like a that. minute. Talking about Big Brother, yeah. we were meant to come in the house with you yeah. and some other influencers before yeah. they moved in yeah. uh, and uh, see the house and chill there for a night. Yeah. But they said we couldn't come because you are coming and you're not a fan of us. Hi, hey, hey, who said that? Yes. 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 What's the channel saying? Stop Kia, that question Kia I was Kia coming up. for you there. <laughs> All right, now. Kia, Kia, <laughs> Kingly. 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 And then Kingly. 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 No, I didn't go simply because I just didn't want to go. Yeah. It had nothing to do with any specific person. Yeah. I just didn't want to be... Like I told you, I've got social anxiety, especially with industry people. Mm. You know, and I have to be stuck in that with... Uh, no, I wasn't going to do fake, that. fake, man. But here's the thing. Look, here, and you know what I like? Um, you are one of the people in this business that I know I can criticize. Yeah. And it's never personal. And, of course. And, and yes, you understand. Yes. Because a lot of problems that I've encountered in the industry is that... People don't want to be criticized. And me, I'm not even personal. I'm not about your personal life. Doing your job. I'm, I'm about the work. Mm. You know? So if something is happening here and um it's it's got, I've got an issue with it, I'll put it out. You yes, know? yes. Like this one going on TV wearing a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the wardrobe disappointed me. And as you feel, I've got nice clothes. You know, I saw a fucking bottle. I got this. And the reunion. In fact, I went with a jacket and then they chose me to wear a fucking a orange golfer. Oh. And they put the, uh, this, this no, I want to <laughs> Really, it looked like he just, you know, we're just passing by, but he said, our presenter is not get available, get can you come in? Uh, and I saw that, and I get it, you yeah. know what I mean? And I was like, I get it, I did tell them about the old trope, I was like, me sure, that it works, it works, right? But when you're going to criticize <laughs> me, I get it, you yeah. know what I mean? It's not malicious, it's not coming from, it's not personal, and that's what we sign up for, and right? If someone says... An industry, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, if we all sit around and just clap, clap, that's why... My friendship with people within the industry never worked. Yeah. Simply because I'm not the let's clap for everything kind of guy. You mm. know what I mean? I'm, 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 I'm a fan of the industry number one yeah. first. Mm. You know? So I always voice my opinion. Even so, though sometimes it's not warranted. So, uh, how do you, how do you uh, uh, move through that? Like, how do you uh, <clears throat> take yourself out? Let's say we are friends. Yeah. And you've got a scoop that you need to write about. Yeah. How do you maneuver that? Look, it's very difficult. I mean, like, for instance, I mean, I, I have friends in the business, you know, who are actors, whatever, like, uh, we chill out, go with Melville and whatever. The one thing rule that I made for myself a long time ago is that my friends are not going to be my content. Okay. You know? okay. Like, um, if I'm at Saul's house and Saul happens to mention, oh, you know, I'm draining, whatever. Yes. You yes. know, I'm, I'm dumping tire, I'm going to Metro. Yeah. Um, that's not a scoop for me. Is it? It's not, you know. Um, wow. Unless if I hear it from somebody else and I'll call him up and say, hey, Temba just told me that, you know. Why isn't that a that's him. Uh, because it's, uh, I mean, how is he going to be comfortable being around me, after. you know, after that? You get, you get what I'm saying? And the thing yes. is that, I mean, like, I, 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 I've got so many other scoops that I can do. I will not screw you over just for one story and ruin, like, a three-year, five-year Friendship, you know what I mean? But then you're robbing us as as fans of your work. Yeah. Not particularly. Not particularly. I mean, like, um, I, I think integrity is what keeps people, you know, um, working in this industry. You know, I know we talk about how evil and how malicious and how, you know, shady this industry is. But I find that a lot of people who um, are able to sustain themselves longer um, are people with integrity, you know, you know, um, it might not be seen by the masses, but you'll be talking to somebody and be like, you know, you know that Mick G boy, yo, you don't know, bro. Like, you know, I was going through this and then he put me here. Sure, you, you, sure, get, you get what I'm saying? Mm. It's not something that you're going to read about. Mm. On, on, and, and there are a lot of people like that. In the, and those are people that I, I learn, uh, I learn from and even content creators. Um, I look at people like you who are, you know, getting into these platforms, the digital platforms and how you maneuver against the machine mm. of the mainstream, you know. Mm. And when you are getting flag, you know, I, I I tend to pause and say, and caution even people that I have conversations with, like, mm. let's just be careful about one thing, you know. I'm not saying people like this should not be, you know, criticized or should not be, you know, um, showing the light. Yeah. However, you need to be 
careful about how we do that. And I always reference the fact that part of the reason why South African black actors don't make money in this country is that back in the day, what the agencies used to do, they would literally tell you, you don't talk about money at auditions. Huh. So you are all in the same industry. You are all auditioning for the same things, but you're not talking about how you should be earning. So how do you even know how to negotiate mm. for your rate if you're not talking to each other? Mm. But it made sense then because the powers didn't see black talent as worthy mm. of being remunerated accordingly. Mm. Mm. It was a matter of, the got about it's a favor. Mm. You know, we're doing these people a favor by putting them on television. So mm. the judges should be grateful that they're on TV mm. and we take whatever it is that we give them. Mm. But now that has changed. Now we talk. Yeah. You know, I love, I love how you, you never, you're not afraid to ask somebody <clears throat> how much do you earn and all of that. Because it's important, even though some people lie, it's mm. fine. Mm. But it's important that we are having conversations about remuneration in our industry. It's important that we're having conversations about not destroying the new guys that are coming up with other avenues of us as black entertainment, con not commentators, entertainment creatives yeah. to be making money. Mm. You know, yes, we will criticize, we will say, Meg, gee, you shouldn't be doing that, you shouldn't be saying that, you shouldn't be, you yeah. know, uh, veering towards that lane because it's detrimental to, mm. you know, whatever. But that should not come at the price of you losing mm. the platform and all these guys losing mm. these, 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 mm. these jobs that they have. Mm. That, I mean, these guys are here now, but tomorrow they might be somewhere else creating something else for other people. 100%. Jeez, man. So have you ever fought with a friend because of a story <clears throat> that you put out? Um, it wasn't a fight per se. It was a more of a misunderstanding. I mean, I put out something that a friend had assumed that it's because of what she had told me, mm. you know? And I understand why she 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 felt uncomfortable about that because I've, I, I kind of think that because people that she works with know that we're friends, mm. we're probably, you know, pestering and saying, You're hey. talking about uh, Bonang? No, that's a different... Hey, I, oh. I knew you were going to go there. Yes, <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, 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 I mean, come on, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Queen, Queen B. B. <laughs> Queen B. <laughs> no, man, we're good now, man. Why are you taking me back to five years ago? Bonang and I are good now. No, it wasn't Bonang. It was, it was an actress. Yeah, I mean, like, dude, the Bonang thing was a long time ago. And also, it was so stupid. You know, I love sometimes when people are... Uh, when these celebrities are wilding over, you know, this new boy. I'm like, you know... I was out here, you know, talking about your work, not who you're screwing and who you're doing. And you all were hating on me on that. Look now. Hmm. Look at what's happening right now. But what happened with Bonang? I have no idea. I didn't follow that story. Did you follow the story? I, uh, no, I just know that Bonang, there was a peer she hated you, but you saying you guys are cool. Or maybe not yeah. hate, but there was this thing publicly. I don't know where it started as well. Here's what uh, our prep says. It has been reported that he has beef with Bonang Mateba. The two worked in one of Bonang's TV shows about fashion at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, Phil and Bonang once exchanged insults on social media. This happened after Bonang decided to sue Sunday World for 10 million rands. Phil ended up calling Bonang a liar and an abuser, also threatening to expose her files of 2012 in Sun Seat. They know it's her law. Hey. <laughs> Is no, man, look, I, yeah, um, uh, somewhat, okay. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, we did work together on um, Lights, Camera, Fashion. Uh, it was a production that was done under Bonamata Entertainment. It was her first production, you know. Um, and, yeah, um, and then that was done. And I think the um, altercation, for lack of a better word, mm. happened because of exactly what, what, we, what your prep person put, up, put there. Mm. Um, she was suing... Um, Sunny World, and I just tweeted that I don't think this is smart to be suing a paper because at the time I believe that when you're a celebrity and you sue a publication like that, then you're giving whatever story that they were running a credence life. and life. You know, yeah. uh, I think in Hollywood it's called the Streisand effect, mm. effect where Barbara Streisand tried to stop a tabloid from, you know, running a story. But by the mere fact that she it's sued them, yes. the story became a huge yes. story. So it's called the Streisand effect, you know, when you, you know... It's like on Twitter, and when someone right. with five and followers, right. it's like on yeah. Twitter, when someone with five followers says something about you, and or maybe lying. they've got a scoop, right? And then... Only five people will see it, but when you reply, reply. Uh, suddenly half a million people who follow okay. you see it. But I think it was also a, a case of, I mean, back then... Um, were you friends at this time when you tweeted that? Oh, uh, we're friendly. We're not friends. Yeah. Uh, like we're not hanging, uh, uh, you know, but we're friendly. Cordial. Uh, yeah, if we're in the same room, hi, Wanang, hi, Phil, and, yeah. and all of that, you know. Uh, we're cordial, yeah, that's the right word. Yeah, but uh, uh, it wasn't big. You know, Twitter blows things out of whatever. It wasn't that big. It got big because of Twitter. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm. And and I also understand because at the time, 
it was that age of uh, the Eat Girls, you know, where the fandoms were pumping them up and whatever, mm, you know. So it was an element, yeah, there was an element of, oh, I need to give the people what they want. So the people want me to be going in on this boy right now. Mm. Let me do that. I mean, and of course I let it go. But after a while I was like, no, 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 no I'm, you know, crossing a line now. Now you're disrespecting me. Now I look like I'm meek and weak. So yeah. let me head back. But it wasn't that big. But we're cool now, man. We're, we're young, do you guys have stupid. a conversation when that is happening? Do you call Bonang and be like, listen, Chomi, I don't really... Like, I got nothing against you. Like, these people mustn't come between us. Um, I never did. Um, we never did. Uh, like, even the cool thing, I think we are cool because uh, we're now able to say hi to each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and all that. But we've never had a conversation. And I don't even think that it's necessary. You, you get what I'm saying? Um, because having that conversation now is rehashing the whole thing. And, and look, well, I'll be very honest about one thing, though, that did not make, you know, um, the public sphere. As the fact that it got personal because I genuinely like that girl. And what we went through with, with that show was on some... I mean, like, remember Bonang had to do that show with a production company that did not exist. Mm. You know what I'm So she had to outsource. Mm. And I was the only person employed under the company so mm. I carry the load mm. of mm. having to make sure that you know what we need to get what needs to get done, done gets done, done and all of that mm. and when all of that thing happened I was on some I was there for you like that mm. you're gonna do me like this mm. you're gonna call me names like this when I was there for you like that you know what I'm saying I mean I remember uh, I used to love that girl so much that I would literally create stories out of nothing wow you know what I'm saying I remember she once did a, a jet cover and she was wearing some uh, borrow jewels and whatever and I was like ah you're doing a cover of Jet okay cool what can I do? I mean I need to write something but there's no yeah. story there you're yeah. doing a cover okay you've done a million because she's your friend and, and then I called and I called some people I was like Actually, that necklace that she was wearing, how much was it worth? Ah, I see. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, 22 million, whatever. And then I just created it, uh, an article out of that. Wow. Uh, but how much time I wore in 22 million rand, whatever, you know. So it was stuff like that. Yeah. You know, so I, I'd always been good to her. So it was a matter of, it It. It. it, it was personal. It hit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what, what is Bunang doing now, man? I haven't heard from her in a while. Quiet now. Mm. Uh, I don't know. You guys don't chat? No. At all? No. Wow. How should we? And then oh. Sun City 2012. Ah, yes, actually, oh no, I'm no, like, like, did you witness this thing? Did you share? What was there an award? Was it around an award? Thingy uh, my Bobby hosted there. Yo, bro, I can talk about last everyone's stress. No, there was nothing. That's another thing about Twitter. Like, they, uh, uh, um, it's actually very boring. No, I honestly. No, no. Phil, you said you're gonna expose uh, her. For the 2012, whatever happened in 20, Sun City 2012. Guys, you, so what was it? The story is so boring. It, it, it was boring. On. No, 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 no. It, it had nothing to do with it. It wasn't a personal thing. It was just a simple thing about it. It was a work thing. You understand? It was a work thing. It, it had nothing to do with other people and whatever. It was a work thing. Let's just leave it at that. It was. Not, it's not even as sensational as people think that it is. Oh. And, I, and I've actually even said it many times that, guys, it's not dead. It's not it's some boy had written some story before there was Musa Kola, there was some other boy in J mm. fabricating stories hey there was uh, drugs and uh, Mini Cooper's private jets and whatever I'm like why the hell are you getting all of these things you know uh, uh, it wasn't that so you guys and when I say you guys uh, entertainment yeah. bloggers how do you get your stories like everybody else who feeds you uh, there are sources everywhere, you know, like um, um, you'll get stories from the person. Okay. You know, somebody will hit you up and say, hey, Phil, I'm working on this, you know, um, I need it, you know, to get out there and people know about it. So, you know what to do, you know, do that. Um, PR people send press releases. Yeah. Um, you chilling somewhere, somebody just tells you that, hey, you know, this and this. And that's, that's another thing, though. I've gotten to a point where everywhere I go, somebody wants to tell me something <laughs> because they feel like I need to know because I haven't said anything about it on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, That's why you got anxiety now. No, 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 exactly. The, the other day, I'm, I'm in Melville, bro. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> there, was something, there was something on Twitter about some carrots. Apparently somebody was, was doing something with a carrot or whatever. I'm not interested in things like that. Yeah, giving people that I follow don't engage in, in those kind of things. This guy comes and says, Hey, Phil, fancy. Why did you come to the airtime, bruh? What? 
I'm so confused at that time. I'm like, what? You, what is he talking about? You yeah. know? And then my friends are like, Yay! This is this is. I'm like, oh, but I mean, I'm an entertainment commentator. Why the fuck did I know about? <laughs> What's happening yeah. with the carrots? I don't know, man. Look, I've never heard. Carrots? What's Does anyone know the carrot story? Who carrots. did something with a carrot? Hey. Yeah. What's happening with carrots? Yes, man. Ah, what's yeah, happening yeah, with carrots? Yeah. No, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nasty little story. No, it's a, there's some OnlyFans boy yeah. who tweeted that uh, fat people shouldn't what what oh you shouldn't be f- uh, you didn't yeah you shouldn't have a belly by the time you get to thirty or something like that you yeah know, something yeah something ridiculous you know fat shaming and all of that yeah. and then uh, the retort to that was uh, hey shut up when your OnlyFans f- OnlyFans account failed because <laughs> it was using carrots you were doing yourself with a carrot and it's t- <laughs> A <laughs> dude. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> hey, it's wild, there, my only friend. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kick another so, guy. Yeah, so they want you to write about that. No, but I, I don't think the guy was. I think the guy just assumed that I needed. I, I should know because I'm feeling pale. I should know yeah. about this. I'm like, dude, I, have, I know nothing about that. Uh, yeah, I can get it to you. Bro, like you're saying that you get, you know, you've got different sources yeah. everywhere. And normally you're credible and you're on point. But yeah. recently you got a story very wrong yeah. about Kumba going to Metro because it seems now the lineup hey. did was dropped. He's not going there. But here's the thing that you like, need to also need to understand. Sometimes I get, I get the scoop before the final decision mm. or while people are negotiating. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I will tell you something and I uh, so um I'd written something about um what's that um show the queen and whatever. Yeah. I know for a fact that what I had put down was accurate. Or if they wanted to spin it, whatever, that's on them. You what was the saying? story? Just remind us. Uh I'd written that uh, certain people were getting fired. Okay, yes. And they were. Mm. You understand? They were if and the they show, did. And, and they did. well they didn't because the show then did, did, uh, the channel decided to can the show. Oh you okay. get what I'm saying? So it was not worth it. You yeah. Know, to oh. kind of like, you know, go so with you that. got the queen canned. I do. <laughs> <laughs> so it's your fault. Sometimes I and, and also sometimes it's um I'm a conversation starter. In the sense that I would put out something and then through the discussions that are happening around that thing, that can change the plans around that thing. You Damn, so 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 Skumba was considered. Yes. At Metro. He did go to the SCPC. Had well, that I don't know. That I can't say, but I can tell you for a fact that uh, okay. Skumba was considered for the morning. The breakfast with the Sabi. Yeah. It was Sabi. Jeez. So have you ever gotten a story where you're like... Yeah, the Kai, the Kai FM... Uh, yeah, somebody set me up with that. Um, what was the Kai story? Um, what getting sold... No, I couldn't get a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was a story about right. Kaya. I think Kaya was... Getting sold or something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, that, that that was a bummer, you know. But the thing is that I'd gotten that story from somebody who wouldn't just, you know, lie. Yeah, and I don't know why, 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 why that happened. Wait, so you get set up? <sighs> so why would someone not... want to set you up? <laughs> <clears throat> we have this thing in South Africa of, um, especially with the black side of our industry, where people don't want you to get too big. Whoa. So they will try to clip your wings. I know for a fact, Corey, there's a station here in South Africa where there's a lady there who is trying so hard to make sure that I'm never on that station. Because apparently, because I used to criticize the shows that she had advocated or was, you know, green lighting. And because I was criticizing them, they were getting negative review or whatever. She developed a dislike towards me kind of thing, you know. So she's very averse to me making money through that channel and I will never be on that channel. Oh. And I've, I've been told by two producers, I was supposed to do uh, one show for them. Uh, the producers had already, you know, negotiated the fees with me and all of that. And I get a phone call from uh, the producer saying, hey, Phil, what did you do to so-and-so? Mm. I'm like, what do you mean? Mina, like, like you? Like, yeah, she was very emphatic that he must remove you from... That list. That's the industry that you work in. Yeah, no, we know that. That yeah, happened yeah, yeah. to us. Oh, yeah. There were radio us, stations bro. paying uh, uh, social media people to tweet yeah. shit about us so that advertisers wouldn't... It's not appealing. So yeah. the show's not appealing to advertisers. Exactly. So now you need to understand that here's this boy, here's this guy who is getting first uh, 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 look at the press releases because I don't write articles. So if I'm sitting here on my phone and a press release comes in, I'm already on my phone, so I'll put the story out faster than the journalist and this media platforms mm. would, right? Mm. So here's this guy who is beating us with, with, with being first, whatever. Here's this guy who's getting scoops that we cannot get. We don't know why our journalists are not getting that. So let's, let's just 
try and kill his credibility yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're you doing gotta, too gotta, much yeah you're doing too much and it's it's at the time when uh these mainstream publications and main, mainstream uh, content platforms are struggling you get what i'm saying so but now i'm sitting there thinking why are you trying to sabotage me because a smart person i think i'm a smart person and i believe that if i was a journalist working for a media house what i would be doing is that i would be embracing second day reporting right mm. Second day reporting is this. Film Pillar will put out a story and say, hey, Saul is what, whatever, mm -hmm. right? As a journalist, I cannot put the context and the full story on Twitter. It's not going to work. Mm. As a journalist, tomorrow, it's incumbent on you if you are a good journalist to go and actually and create a find full the story and dig deep into mm. that. Yeah. Give us You've got a lead. New. Give us something new. That's the thing. So you so, guys can work together. Exactly. Uh, so I'm on some, why you hate it? Don't hate on me. Mm. Actually, I could be feeding your business because if you do the second day report thing and you do it well, Damn, your journalists don't even have to go out there. <laughs> have you ever been paid not to publish a story? Uh, no. But I have been paid uh, not to respond Whoa. to what I'd put out. That, okay, Phil. Okay, I think initially maybe they would have wanted to, me to put it but down. But they didn't know you were going to tweet that, yeah? Yeah, they probably would have done that, but I still would have tweeted it anyway. Mm. Uh, and I got money saying, hey, you know what? Um... You did what you need to do and we respect that. Um, but this is going to hurt us because of your credibility if you continue to engage. <laughs> so what? <laughs> <that>. Mama, but, <laughs> but okay, I'm like, I'm awesome. No, why should I? I mean, if new developers, they're like, uh, no, nothing else is coming out. This is what the story is. Yes, we fucked up and you exposed us. Mm -hmm. But Tatan Dota, stop talking. <laughs> You've been hitting our business. People are going to lose work. And has a big media house ever tried to like poach you or like? Uh, yeah, but I will, I, I've I've always been emphatic about the fact that I will never work for a media house. Who tried to poach you? Uh, I can't say that now. Okay. But you'll never editor. work for them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Feel... Media Twenty Four. Let me just say, uh, an editor in Media Twenty Four had I, I'd had conversations with to work uh, um, on something. Yeah. Uh, mm. But I would never want to work for companies like that because. Number one, you need to understand that a lot of my friends are also journalists. So mm. I know the stories of what happens in, in these in newsrooms and the mm. politics and whatever. I love the fact that I don't have a boss. I love the fact that um, I can do what I want whenever I want to do it. Mm. You know, um, what's annoying is having to work for somebody who doesn't have the same passion for the work of course. as you do. But because they've got the power, now they have to make the decisions and they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, and that's what happens a lot in our industry that a lot of people who are in the decision-making rooms either don't love this industry or don't care or they don't just don't know, you know. It's it's amazing because sometimes you can see that these people don't even watch mm, yeah, yeah. these things that they grill mm. because it, 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 it can't be. It can't be that you didn't realize that these shows are similar. Hmm. It's just one show which are just, you know. Uh, but that tells you that um, a lot of the time people who have the power to make decisions um, don't care or don't know or are just not invested. Are you never uh, fearful of your life? Because you talk about some very powerful people, man. Uh, but you see, but I don't talk about their personal lives. Why would somebody come and kill me because I said that their show is getting cancelled? Mm. Uh, you, you, get, you get what I'm saying? Uh, I'm, I, I'm never personal. I, I've never really been interested in gossip. Yeah. It has never been my thing. It never interested me. Um, I love the creation of work within the entertainment industry. So that's what fascinates me. That's what I know. That's another thing. Mm. I only speak about what I know. So, like if somebody calls me. Huh? So if you get a story, yeah. gossip, but it's juicy, the juiciest story ever with all the receipts, it's factual. Yeah. You, you're you not going to publish it based on the no. fact that your ethos is you just do stories of work. No, I would not. Mm. Wow. Because remember, my credibility is my currency. Mm, mm, mm. Without it, I have nothing. So if I start getting into that lane, then I lose people who come to film Pillar for, you know, uh, entertainment industry, whatever, and the respect that I have within the industry. Like, I can literally call anybody in the business if I wanted to verify something, whatever. You get what I'm saying? You. And that only happens because the name film Pillar means something. Some means something. Mm. Integrity. You, 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 you get what I'm saying? Mm. Um, what story in the past, sorry, that you, you, you literally said, okay, I'm not going to even, but you knew it first. That broke out. But because it's not in your yeah, name. Yeah, because it's not. It's just gossip. But like Jeez, something major uh, that, story. that you that knew be? first. Um, and... uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I can't remember. 
Is it? Jeez. Did you know of this type of best I think before? It uh, no, 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 no. You, you saw my tweets. I was shocked too. And I was very surprised because um, I saw that story that it already had traction. I was so surprised that my tweet was getting that that much uh, attention because I'm like, but this story has been there like, and it's got nothing to do with entertainment. So why, mm. why are all these people interested in what Phil has to say about Tabo Besta? Like, what do you think cares? about the Tabo Besta story? It's fascinating. Eh? It would hey? make a great documentary. Bruh. Hey, you yes. know? But like I tweeted, but I don't understand me and Angie would say like, it takes so many stops you know, for this thing to actually work out, for him to be actually out there, like, you know, a body had to be found. Whose body was that? You know, yes. somebody had to sign off on, on, on the certificate. Who was that person? And who is paying these people? And how are they all connected? Because mm. from the day he left prison, actually, from the day he planned to escape, to the day he escaped, to the day somebody declared him dead, there's probably about maybe 20 people in You're that day. Right. Yeah, that's why it's like he's, he must be a very powerful or no. And how do you get them all people? to kind of like, you know, cooperate and nobody saying shit? <laughs> like, how much money it's, does this man have? How much did he pay yeah, them? Exactly. It's well orchestrated. I mean, like, I don't understand. I mean, like 20, probably 20 people and they're all able to keep this secret for, what, two years or a year, whatever? Right. Ah, yeah, anyway. Jeez, that's crazy, eh? It's, it's very crazy. Yeah. Have you ever pissed off like a billionaire or someone famous? Yeah, oh yes. For real? Oh, yo, 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 yo. I remember, okay, um, there was an incident um, back in, I remember there was a show on SABC One called Javicho. Javicho, I remember, yeah. Yeah. So, um, there were some issues with payment. They were not paying the actors that were uh, on that show and whatever. So I got that information that, you know, hey, Phil, we're not getting paid, bro. Hey, tweet something maybe to, to push things along and whatever. I'm like, yeah, actually, this is a story. You mm. know, people need to know that this is happening. I put it out there. I put it this lady. I think her name was Loli, whatever her name is. Um, she's a producer. I was not happy about that. So we are at an event, SABC One event. So we're just chilling there, chilling there. So this lady comes to me. So are you Phil Impala? Yeah. Hell oh, yes, yeah, I'm Phil Impala, but how dare you? Oh. You will never work in this industry again. Hey, man. Uh, what are you talking about? Yeah. Uh, yeah, how dare you put, us the, uh, put out a tweet about the fact that, you know, people are not getting paid. You don't know. You know, she goes into this, you know, tangent and, and rant and whatever. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, but the gist of it is that she made sure that I knew that she's got connections, she's got power, and... um. I will never work in an industry. Okay, so I'm like, in my head, I'm like, okay, um, I have no inclination to be an actor. Mm. <laughs> uh, and no matter how powerful you are, nobody owns this industry. Mm. You, can, you, you can stop me from being on SABC One, you can stop me from being on Zanzi Magic, but I will be on Netflix. Mm, 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 <laughs> mm, 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 mm. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can close doors, but you can't close all the doors. Mm. Kind of thing, yeah. So there was that incident. Um... <sighs> Is Lestady really famous? Lestady was not happy. Uh, uh, Cody Ferguson's daughter was not happy about me putting out that the show is cancelled. Mm. Um, I don't know why. She was not happy with that. Um, well, what's up with you and the Fergusons? Nothing. Yeah? We're cool. Like, um, there was, there was, uh, and that's the thing. Um, there's a perception that um, when you put out too much criticism to watch a certain show, whatever, you have an issue with those people. An agenda. And I always, I always want some... Here's the thing. If you are a television producer in this country and you've got a show out and I'm not saying anything about it, let alone criticize it, yeah. then no, be worried. Because yes. it's gonna... <laughs> if I'm criticizing your work, it means that I'm actually engaging with your work. I watch your work. You mm. know what I mean? Uh, uh, look, the discussions are cool. Um, I remember when, 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 when um, Mam Marlo blasted them and stuff like that. I had a long conversation with Shona and, and Kony, like a, probably like a 20 minutes conversation, you know, of them trying to explain that side of the story so mm. that I have context. And one thing that I've laughed about Kony Ferguson, uh, Shona was like that as well, but Shona was not very talkative, you know, mm. he was a hugger, but not a mm. talker, mm. <laughs> you know. Um, what I love about, 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 about Kony is that Kony understands the industry. Yes. Mm. She understands the industry and she doesn't take it personally. She understands yeah. that, Phil, this is what you do and by you doing that, you're promoting our work. Mm. Like, I mean, uh, the sweetest thing that she did is that um, after my little thing with Lissady, we were at the DCV What What Awards thing, uh, nominees thing, um, and for some weird reason, um, they seated me at the table <laughs> with Kony and Lissady and, yo, it was the most uncomfortable <laughs> Mind you, and I'm late. Yeah. So I'm late. I get there and, you know, 
people have already uh, sat down and uh, when they usher me, they're like, oh, Phil, yeah, your seat is there when I get there. You know, my heart almost sunk. Mm. You know, because it's uncomfortable. Mm. You know, because, I, you know, I just had this thing. Where, so I assumed that maybe, you know, Connie has an issue with me as well. So I avoided her the whole night. Mm. You know, I was not making eye contact. I was not doing whatever. I avoided her. So um, the proceedings ended and towards the end of uh, the evening, whatever, so we're standing there and Sister Connie comes to me. I'm like, oh, Lord. She comes and says, hi, what's on to me? Sure. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm, she's, like, she's like, what are you doing? Mm. Like, I mean, I can sit up with and mm. I know what you do. And I, and I thought that was so, 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 so She great. gets it. Yeah. You know, like, she gets it. And I wish a lot of people in the industry can, can, can be like that because that's how we're going to build the industry. This thing, Yahore, just because somebody criticizes the work that you do, they must have an agenda against you. I mean, you know an agenda when you see it. Yeah. You know, when somebody is not willing to acknowledge that this came about because of, like, for instance, I know I criticize the industry, but I will be the first one to acknowledge the fact that there are certain barriers that black content creators have to, you know, push through, through, push through mm. for them to be able to have platforms. Like, I mean, in as much as I would criticize Teza, whatever, I understand that for those guys to be able to get work that um, the other production companies are getting, mm. they have to fight a little bit harder. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So... If somebody does not even make an effort to put something like that out, you know, something like, oh, okay, congratulations, McG. You know, mm. I know I told you last week that you are shit, but mm. this week you're doing yes. something great. Yes. Congratulations. Mm. If somebody's not willing to do that, then you know that that person has an agenda against but you. But why do you think celebrities are so emotional? Um, I think because in South Africa, um, talent... God, people are going to hate me for this. But fuck it. In South Africa, talent always comes second. Huh. And that's a problem that we have in this country. You know, uh, the fact that you are talented at doing something will always be secondary to who you know, will always be secondary to um, all these other factors that have nothing to do with the job that you do. Mm. That is why you see a lot of South African entertainers have, um, what's, it, what's it called? Uh, an imposter syndrome. Imposter yeah. syndrome, yeah. They feel like they, 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 they don't belong there mm. because a lot of them don't. Huh. And a lot of them get into, I'm not be, be honest, mm. and a lot of them get into these rooms knowing very well that I do not belong in this room. Mm. But I got in. So that's kind of like, it festers and it becomes uh, 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 something that uh, 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 now defines the industry because now, People are so insecure about okay. their talent because... So when you criticize me, you're poking me. Exactly. Hey. You get it. Oh, and then if you're talented and you get it, you, yeah. you, you won't even worry about it. And you know then, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And oh, I'm it's making saying, sense. I'm not saying everybody, think, everybody's going through that, but yeah. But I think it's the really talented guys who get the imposter syndrome more than the ones body connections. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, but it's really, I agree with you, Saul. people who've, who've mm. got the imposter syndrome. Mm. For me, observations. But, you know, even, but it breeds a culture though. Like for instance, like the example that I made earlier on when I was talking about the fact that back in the day, our black creatives, people who were on TV at that time, mm -mm -mm. would never want to talk about money because they were made to feel like they were being done a favor by being put on these platforms. Mm. Of course, if you look at it, nobody specifically stood, stood on, a, uh, on a thing on a table and say, hey, everybody, this is how the culture is going to be. No, but it just became that. That's the point that I'm trying to make that what we are talking about, this imposter syndrome thing, it's not like everybody is going through that, but it has permeated the industry that it is just part of the culture now where everybody's so insecure about their talent, about their, their work. Because, and also the, the other thing is being the only one in the village. For the longest time, black creatives were put in a position where you were the only one. Mm. You know, when we want to do, when we like, like what's happening in Northwest right now. I mean, like um, this guy who was swearing at people the other day. Stone. Uh, Stone. Stone is the only one. It seems like he's the only celebrity from, from Northwest. You know, everything that they do, Stone, 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 right? What that now creates in our, in our, in our industry when you are the only one in that is that when other people come into the space and are doing the same thing that you're doing, they become a threat, Oh. And now when the film pillars now come and criticize your work, you feel like, oh my God, they're exposing me and making me vulnerable to Saul coming in and taking my spot. Sure. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm. So I I think it's ridiculous. I think it's silly, but I, I get it. So so that's why I I don't go too hard on people. You know, 
because I get it. I get, I get that. Um, so what you're saying it's a lot of insecurity. It's a, it's a, it's a lot of insecurity and some psychological nonsense, Brad. I mean, like the entertainment industry globally is just not a healthy industry. You know, especially on mental health. It's just not, you know, it's, this is an abnormal thing. You know, the fact that just because you're on TV, people know you and feel like they've got access to you. Like everything about entertainment, you know, and, and celebrity culture and whatever, it's abnormal. Mm. You, you get what I'm saying? So there's a psychological element that happens with that now. When now, people who are in there, they want to say that now abnormal. Not intentionally. Yeah, because when I was watching Stone's uh, video, I'm like, what why are you recording this? Like, exactly. What's the point? Why? Oh. Like, you why? You know? Because they got to him. The trolls got to him. They, they got to him. And now, people are now starting connecting him because now I was getting stories about, oh, uh, at Mahike Mahike, he was swearing at people there. <laughs> That's his event that I forgot the name. Yes. <laughs> so do you think it's healthy for celebrities to partake in the social media space? Um, no. However, we live in an era where fans feel like they need to be connected to you in some way. Mm. But at the same time, I feel like if you've never created, if you've never opened that door, it's never expected of you. Like, for instance, you know, uh, nobody expects a Connie Ferguson to be responding to that thing, uh, to uh, uh, tw- tweet. Twitter, yeah. or even even okay, she's more active on Instagram, mm. you know, to be engaging on Instagram because she's never really opened that door. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Um, the promise, yeah, I always say this to people on, uh, in the business that never, ever, ever celebrate when you see somebody having a bad day on Twitter if you are in this industry because we are all just one. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> your, t- your time is coming. Hey, <laughs> Who would have thought Stone? <laughs> of yeah. all people, right? Like, oh, yeah. Think, guys. Yeah. Who would have thought Stone <laughs> would be... Tr- yeah. yeah. So, 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 so is that thing, Jorge? If you are going to engage in social media as a celebrity, expect, Jorge, one day, your time you're going to tweet me. something, you're going to say something wrong, just one sentence is going to not... Did you know it lent well? Yeah. But I mean, they're gonna come for you, and you better be ready for that. Yeah. What I always say is that when they come for you, don't do what Stone was doing and well, it's time to respond, whatever. No, 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 no. Just lock out for that day and pretend that your phone was not working. And come back next and week, they'll be onto someone else. Yeah, because mm-hmm. that's the reality. Mm. They move on to somebody else, something else happens, you know. Mm. Yeah. Do you think it has affected you? Like, affected me? Yes, in terms of social oh, media. Yeah. yeah. You lie. Jesus Christ. For real? I mean, like, uh, uh, pre pandemic, I was a mess. You lie, Phil. I was so emotional. Eh. No, because the thing is that uh, for the longest time, I felt like I was never really appreciated sure. for what I do. And I was putting work into it. So it used to frustrate me that why, why don't these people get it? Why don't they get it? I'm actually, I love this industry. Why did I get that idea? You know, so it is used to, so whenever somebody would come And you come can't for explain me, to every single person. Exactly. You know, when somebody would come for me and, 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 and especially when they are creating a narrative that is not true. Mm. Yo, 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 yo. That would get me so angry. Then I would want to explain it on Twitter. I'll be writing essays. essays. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I feel like, hear me, hear me. Can, can somebody just hear what I'm saying? But then uh, I've grown that now. Nah. With, um, what changed? You know what? It's not my job to make you understand me if you're not willing to understand me. To Dango. Dango. Because that's a wasted effort. Because Dango. that's the thing, McG. If somebody doesn't like you, if mm. somebody doesn't like McG, bruh, they will find anything and everything mm. to justify why? why they don't like you. Mm. Yeah. If they don't find anything, whatever, they will provoke you mm. so that you can respond. And then they say, you see, I told you. This mm. is why. This is why I don't like him. Mm. Forget that. They provoked you to do mm. that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good now. I'm, I'm grown now. Um, I, I don't feel the need. So you switch off sometimes? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I switch off. Like, um, if I'm not on, 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 on Twitter... I have a life. Yeah. You know, I'm not sitting there, you know, every day, you know, uh, I'm 24-7 on Twitter. Uh, I report what I report um, and I'm out. What do you think about the Musa Kaulas of this world? Hey, you're going to make me talk about this, kid. I'm, uh... Oh, God. How do, how, how do I put this? Because um... he claims he's replacing you or he has replaced you. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he said. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're hearing, <laughs> even on the streets, you know. Yeah. Replacing me to what? What we do is not the same. Yeah. You understand? He does gossip. He does all these these things that he does, and um, 
uh, I doubt that he even makes money because I, I mean, how you monetize videos like that? You can't. Mm. You get what I'm saying? And here's another thing that people need to understand that um, not everybody's going to pay you to put out something. And this fallacy that people have that, oh, people are getting paid to destroy people. Why would, why would, make you, why would you take your 20,000 rand to go pay somebody to destroy somebody's name, whatever? That has nothing to do with you. I mean, it makes no sense. You know, I mean, people are broke in this industry. They don't have 20,000 rand to go pay I'm people. confused, so, man. What do you say? I know, I'm I saying. I know what he's saying. I'm saying people have this belief that uh, people like the Musas are making money because people are paying them to put out stories. Mm. They get paid to put out stories. That's what Lerato Khadjah you know, said. Um, you lie. No, I she mean... She tweeted that uh, she knows who's paying Musa Kaula. That's what oh, she said. Yeah. So she's someone willing, is paying. She said she wants to come on the, onto the show to expose all of that. Okay, I hope she does. But, 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 yeah. you know, I love Lerato Khadjah, but that's the one thing where she and I would disagree because I, it does not make sense to me. You know, unless if some that person is um, maybe a husband or a person that you already have a relationship with, mm. you know, I don't see, you know, I don't see you, you know, paying somebody to go, you know, destroy more flavor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'll do that by myself <laughs> for free, <laughs> for free. <laughs> but, but you know what I'm saying? It does. It does not make sense. Why would you pay money? No matter how much you have a beef or whatever. Yeah. Why would somebody pay money to go do that? Okay, so that was not the point that I was making. Anyway, the point that I was making is that so the most colors there's a space for them, but. Here's the thing about South Africa. Gossip does not make money in South Africa. Mm, mm. It does not because... Remember, as content creators, on, especially on digital platforms, our revenue are brands. Yes. More than anything. Yes, yes, you yes. You get what I'm saying? Yes. And now with this cancel culture, whatever, where everybody's so worried, the mm. brands are so worried, mm. you know, brands will not touch gossip. Mm. Wait, so are you saying... He's drinking those Hunters and uh, Gutus? Yeah, no, no, no. Hunter, Hunter, Hunters is not sponsoring that. That oh. I know for a fact, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so his wall is dry. You, you, you cannot say. But you know <laughs> Wow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so stop it. Move something. <laughs> Fuck it. Hell. Stop that thing. And I said, look, look. Good for him. Yeah. Good for him. Uh, 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 um, he, he, he's managed to amass a following that will... But maybe he doesn't want to make money. Maybe he just wants to exactly. be famous. That's but, another but, thing. But there's definitely... But here's the thing. There's yeah. definitely someone putting money onto it because they've yeah. got a studio. They paid a sound guy. Americans. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, those are resources. Those are production costs and costs. Yes. Unless he's got the money and he's bankrolling it himself. So there is someone actually no, but to also, put but, money but, behind but, but, something but, but, like but, that. But, but, but there's also this element of, I'm sure when you were starting out, you went through the same thing where if you're trying to build something, yeah. you bring people on and say, hey, we are building here. For sure. You know, yes. uh, your rates, whatever, we yeah. you want to late, so yeah. just work oh, and, you know, mm, try and mm, build mm. something. Yeah. So that happens a lot, you know. So just because something is done... You know, it doesn't mean that. David. But anyway, okay, look, fair we, don't, we, don't, we don't know the, uh, the bigger card. But my thing was on Sam Corey. Unfortunately, it doesn't because it doesn't make money, and also it's not sustainable long term. Mm. You know, it 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 fades. Mm. Mm. So that is that is not something that um, if you are a smart uh, creative, mm. you would want to attach your name or your brand to because. It's going to end, but I, unfortunately when it ends, it's not going to end just with just the presenter. It's oh. going to take a lot of people down with him. So as a bigger brother or someone who's been in this space longer, why don't you pick up the call and tell him like, Donna, let's do one, two, three. Let's move like this. Nah. Uh, 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 uh. You see, the other thing, the other problem, like uh, I see the content, whatever, right? but the other thing about Musa that he did, that, that is going to be to his detriment is his ego. He's got a huge ego. Even before he got to this, even when he was starting, mm. you know, you know, if you come into a space saying you're coming to replace people, that's already a trigger. Mm. <laughs> mm. That's already a red flag. Mm. You get what I'm saying? And so it's you can't collaborate with somebody like that. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't work with somebody like that. You can't even advise somebody like that because they already believe that they know better. Mm. Than everybody okay. else. So how do you how do you like it's like having an employee who thinks they know your business better than you? Mm. 
How do you deal with somebody like that? You can't. Mm. The best thing is just to let them go mm. and go. Go. Okay, you think you know this better? Go do it there and succeed on your own game, and all of that. So I'm. Um, I have no interest, number one, mm. to do that because I think his ego is way too much. He's very disrespectful. Mm. Mm. So I don't associate myself with people like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't I, like. I, I wouldn't even see the need. Like I, mean, I, I, I think anybody who wants to associate themselves with with that boy is. Yeah. Bro, how much did the wife get? Like. To do that show, how much money do they get? I have no idea, but um, it wasn't a lot in terms of uh, 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 um, what the Mnet thing is getting. Uh, Which Mnet thing? Yabo, 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 nomzam. Eh. Yeah, I mean, that's proper. That's, that's, that's. I heard proper, they got 120 million. Yeah, that's some proper money. I wouldn't be surprised. The wife? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Well, if, okay, cool. If the wife, if, if parking, um, this new Kabeha thing got eight, yeah, that's, that's reasonable. So the wife could have gotten 120. Yeah, and 120 is nothing, bro. For real? <laughs> 120 million? <laughs> bro, for location shoots. Hey. And all of this thing. And the production million. is dope. Have you seen the wife? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, the yeah, production is yeah. next level, bro. Do you understand? I mean, like, I mean, uh, it seems like a lot of money, but if you're doing a production on, on that scale and you're doing a lot of uh, location shoot, that's that's nothing, bro. That is, that is nothing. I mean, you need to understand that um, if you're doing studio work, yeah, yeah, you can get away with doing like uh, 200 episodes on about maybe that 80. Yes. 20, whatever. Mm -hmm. But now if you have to take production. Mm. Until How much is the Nomzamu? Which one is the Nomzamu one? The, the, the Shaka thing. Oh, Shaka. Yeah. The, the, uh -huh. I get a Nomzamu is Ilembe. producing. Yeah, Ilembe, whatever. How much are they getting? I, if, the, if this was like getting 120, probably we're looking at about maybe five. 100 million? And, uh, 500 million? <laughs> Half a billion? Half a billion? <laughs> For production! Hey, we're in the wrong uh, industry. Uh, yeah. 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 How did, sure. how they Look, if somebody told you, no, I'm just going by his number, right? Yeah. If somebody told you that uh, the wife got uh, one, uh, 120, yes. Right? Oh. I know for a fact that uh, uh, Kabeha got 80. Yeah. Mm -mm. Right? Kabeha is a smaller, like yeah, Kabeha it's Kabeha whatever, it's a smaller production. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the wife compared to. Yeah. Uh, 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 Shaka is uh, smaller. Uh, so, so what I would do is that I would take. Yeah, I'm speculating. So I would be like, if they gave those uh, uh, 120, 120, then they were looking at uh, 25 for maybe. Okay, okay. Let's just be conservative. 300, 300 million. Yeah. But guys, but here's a thing that people forget. There's a lot of money in this industry. Hmm. Do you understand? I mean, if back in the day before the original generation was being cancelled. They were throwing numbers like, you know, the, the generations makes about 500 million for the SABC yeah. annually. I mean, that's a lot of money. Hmm. You know, it just doesn't, doesn't trickle down. Does, to, doesn't trickle down. Yeah, but I mean, there's a lot of money that, 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 that is circulating in this industry. I mean, I mean, you look at only, you look at like uh, the box office in South Africa. Mm. Do you know what there are certain years where 3 billion rand is made? Or ticket sales from cinemas. Just in this country? Just in this country. Mm. Fuck me. Before, before COVID, I think, I think the, the lowest year would have been maybe um, 1 billion. Mm. But we're taking a lot of money that is circulating and within that And is coming now. They're pumping a lot of money. You know? Exactly. Yeah. So that is why owning means of productions, owning these things, it's, 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 it's important because when they catch on, you know, I mean, I would love to see you get the deal that uh, that Rogan guy has. Oh, Joe Rogan, yes, oh, yes, 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 yes. And why can't you do that? No, we're working towards this. Yeah, exactly. Mm. You know, and, 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 and it should be real money mm. because the other thing that annoys me about, about, about these international companies when they come to South Africa, because you're an unlegislated uh, industry and whatever, they want to get everything here for as little as they possibly can. can. When the monies that they are spending there, it's, 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 it's minuscule when it's converted to here. Mm. So if you are able to give a YouTuber $1 million that side, oh, tina, yo. yeah, $1 million run to you is like 100000 yeah. oh, what, 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 mm. But we're not doing that. That's why um, uh, I was very critical of TikTok. Um, and I didn't even have a conversation with them about the fact that TikTok in South Africa is carried by black content creators. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yes, you understand. And I feel like TikTok had an obligation, a moral obligation, to make sure that these kids are making money on those on that platform. They're not making money. They're crazy. They're crazy. No, you can't. Be, like I mean, like it's not like YouTube where yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you, know, yeah. you know, you know, you know, you know yeah. you've got subscribers and your views, whatever. Sure. They don't have a system like that, right? Mm -hmm. So. If you don't have a system like that, then it becomes an issue of brands. But now, the way that TikTok is set up, I can't just come in with co uh, branded content on their platform without going through them first. Is it? Wow, for real. So, so, so down that limit, 
what revenue I could be making. So wait, I'm on TikTok right now. I've got yeah. X amount of thingies. I want to promote Granger. I have to go through TikTok. Yeah, if 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 is that if is that if that's clearly a Granger yeah. promotional yeah. thing. Yeah. He has to be approved what? by my TikTok. <sighs> That's why I remember. I, I don't know if that's the case now, but I remember uh, a year or two years ago when um I was doing my entertainment alert thing. Mm. I wanted to put the the clips on TikTok, but I wanted them to make money because that's how I, that's, that's how you generate money. Yeah. You know, I mm. do branded content for shows and whatever. Yeah. You know, and uh, it was made very clear. I thought, okay, fine, no, you can do that. But however, the brand has to have a conversation with us. Mm. You can't just come and put out a video on there that's got you know branding and whatever. I'm like, yo, but now. That, what if this brand does not want to be talking to you? Does yeah. not want to be dealing with you? They want to only deal with me. And now, the thing, if you're a content creator and then you having now you're adding another barrier and barrier, barrier, I mean, the brands are not going to be interested in that kind of thing. So the point that I was trying to make, what annoys me is that um, these companies now, when they're inside of, inside of God, they're not willing to, to put out money. Do you remember back in the day when uh, Walt Disney yeah. was doing... Uh, Black Panther and they had the, the, the South Africans on their album. Yeah. Do you know how South Africans were the only artists whose royalties were kept on that album? What? There was a cap? <laughs> yes. Why? So they were not... Explain, any explain that what, what that means, uh, Penduka, for people that don't know what he's talking about. He's here. He can explain it. <laughs> <laughs> how there was a limit on their royalties yeah, and on what, how much they, what earth, they made right? from royalties. Yeah. There was a limit on that, yeah. yeah. You, got, you get what I'm saying? More babes. I mean, it's, 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 it's insane. But look now, babes will still be, you know, chowing. chowing right now and doing Imagine. very well. You get, and, and, and that's the reality of, 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 of South Africa. And that's why, and I know young people are not really that interested in the game, are not really interested in the politics of, of the industry. But it is important that we do get, you know, um, some form of legislation in this country because yeah. it protects everybody. You That's not going to happen. For you me. know, it protects. I know. I know people. Certain people benefit from mm. us not having that. Mm. You know, but it has to happen. You know, at some point. I mean, the fact that somebody could die on a set and it's just I mean, or Dobra. You know, that would not happen in America. Mm. We, you know, when where a, a, an actor. You know, gets injured on on set, and you know, Jose didn't jail. Like, oh, okay, it happened. Oh, ra, ra, remove on. No. Who's Otto? Um, Otto it was uh, a guy who fell off a cliff in a scene. They were shooting, I think, somewhere in northwest or something like oh, that. Oh no! So he fell off and he died. <laughs> Oh. You, see, you, see, you, see, you see, you see what I mean? Mm. You, guys, you guys don't even know what about no, this wait, What were they shooting? What, what, what uh, they were shooting, shooting a, a series or a movie or something like that. Oh. Which one? Uh, what was it called? Um, uh, Jeez, I didn't know that. I didn't know that, bro. Yeah, you know, there's this the, the white lady who's a producer, Jillian something, and um and the, and her husband, well, the rest, so they are the ones who own the production company and all of that. But it was a story. You see, that's why stories like that now die. Mm. You know, the fact that an actor could die on on a set, and <sighs> the story behind that is, it was very clear that cut, uh, corners were, <laughs> what's the phrase? They, they were cutting corners yeah, and all of that yeah, stuff. Yeah, stuff. Yeah. You can never do that with a Hollywood production. Mm. Hollywood production, you can never do It'll that. It'll stop. You have a exactly. proper health and safety person. Exactly. On <sighs> but we can't have that unless our industry. So it's not, it's not just about oh. remuneration and, and mm. all these things. It's also about the safety of the, the actors that we have in this country, the safety of, 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 of the musicians that we have in this country mm. and all of that. Because the thing is, how do you protect your being as a person mm. if the government of the country that you're in does not see what you do as something that is valuable, even though it's bringing billions of whatever? Oh. And when I say your being, I mean, Jorge, a lot of actors in this country, as you well know, and whatever, don't have medical aid, can't do shit because mm. they don't have, uh, mm. you know, we are seen as contractors, we're seen mm. as freelancers, uh, freelancers and whatever. Mm. Uh, stuff like that. That is danger to your That's person. why radio has got it right. Radio has got it right. Exactly. Right. Mm, mm. You know what I'm saying? So things like that need to change and, and, and they're not going to change unless young people get, get, get involved because hey, these old people live on us sometimes in jail. <laughs> 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 you know what and so we need we need you guys. We need you guys to be out there telling this. Um, look, I'm, 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 I know a lot of people um, are doubtful, mm. but I, I have faith in, in, in Zizi, you know, um, the new minister. I, I have faith that he's gonna.
try or he's, at least he's going to make it look like he's trying to do something mm. which maybe will then you know galvanize other people to actually you know push for what needs to happen but I, I, I have faith in him because he seems to be interested in in, in every conversation because but the previous isn't minister isn't that what they do yeah? um, isn't what that what they do the ministers when they start they sit down with the actors and actresses yeah like as if we understand and then yeah but 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 you see my thing I'm, 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 an, I'm an optimist so my thing oh, okay. uh, if somebody's showing an effort you know, let's support and not, not, let's not shoot it down before we even see where he's going. You, you, okay. get, you get what I'm saying? Uh, but I like that he's making a concerted effort, to, you know, to bring about change. Got you. you are well versed in the game. Yeah. Um, if let's say you were his advisor and there's a to-do list, what would, should be, he be doing as his first few projects? Yeah. Number one, get the ministry. president to sign the, the pro- bill. Yeah, the bill, the Performance Protection Act. That is the one thing that's going to, you know, solve a lot of issues um, because all these guilds and whatever, all these other things that are happening on the side, they, whatever it is that they do has no power value unless that bill is it's 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 signed so for me that is paramount to everything else that is paramount right quickly what does the bill say well the bill basically uh, it proposes that you know you are protected in terms of uh uh, pay as you earn you know like everybody like basically to simplify it the bill simply just says that treat performers Mm -hmm like you treat any other employee in the economy of South Africa. Oh, it simply says beautiful. that. Pay YE. Yeah, hey, at the end of COVID, you know, I mean, I mean, there are certain things that are specific to the industry that are not, you know, on, in, in other industry, but at the COVID and to simplify it, whatever, it just simply says that give us the courtesy and the rights that everybody, every employee in this country. Has. So at the moment, it's the production companies that are benefiting from this bill not being signed. Yeah. Mm. And they would want the bill to yeah. remain on the table pretty, collecting pretty dust of the president. Yeah. That's why it's not getting signed. To me, people mm. are yeah, eating. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's really people who are making serious money mm. from it not being yeah. signed. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay, and the other stuff that he should be doing after the, that, of course. Uh, uh, okay, so after that now, I, I, I jump off the boat because I am I think we as a, as a country, we need to get out of this thing of expecting you know, the government to be, you know, uh, uh, um, running the industry. I think we, st- we need to get to a point where we start encouraging private investment into mm. our industry. You know, um, we start. We need to start creating a situation where people see that there's value in in investing in MXG, mm. you know. And, uh, and I feel like if we expect the government to be too involved... To spoon feed us. In, 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 yeah, um, I, I hate I hate that every film that is, is, is South African has to be sponsored by government. Mm. You know, I, I need us to get to a point where we can have producers go source money, you know, and invest in a film and, and that film makes money and, you know, and, 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 and. Mm. So um, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not too crazy about um, him getting involved in anything else except signing bills and okay, just fair enough. going away. <laughs> uh, but I want to see our industry get to a point where we are able to, you know, attract private investment. And the only way that we can do that is to show that this works. Mm, mm, mm. You know, um, and I hate that now, you know, what you created here is, is, is great, it's wonderful, whatever. And it's nice to see other people emulate it and whatever, you know. But at the same time, one thing that annoys me about South African creative is that when one thing works, everybody wants to do it. <laughs> and they want to do it the same way. <laughs> and no shame, man. Eh? Yeah, yeah, no shame. That's, 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 that's seriously, you understand? And that in itself hurts, hurts you guys because if, if I'm sitting there and, 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 and I'm like, I... <laughs> <laughs> you, get, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, I wish that creatives could get out of this. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not saying don't podcast. I'm saying there are other things that you could be podcasting within about. Space. You know, within the space. There are other creative ways that you... Like right now, I would love to see a young, enthusiastic filmmaker doing a podcast about films. Films, yeah. yeah. You get what I'm saying? It's a somebody huge market. Yeah, somebody who's interested in, in, in sports, you know, doing something different, you know, giving us... A, you know, I'm not interested in sports at all. But mm. I mean, if somebody were to curate content around sports and do it well, mm. I would want to watch that. Yeah. And they would be able to, to make money. Mm. You know, because a lot of time what happens is that even brands don't know where to go because everybody's doing the same thing, mm. <laughs> kind of thing. But mm. what a part of the reason why I make a living, I've never had a, a 9 to 5 job and I make a living doing what I do, is because I found a niche and I created that niche for myself. Mm. Mm. When I, got, I was not the only person reporting on entertainment. 
You know what I'm saying? You had just curious. You had just the, curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next yeah. little boy, Anna. You know what I'm saying? You had. You remember Mika Stefano? Mika Stefano was, was there. Mika Stefano. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? What 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 made me <laughs> be able to <laughs> to make money and whatever? <laughs> well, because. In that space, I was like, oh, oh everybody's covering the industry, right? Because but these guys are doing the same thing that the magazines are doing, mm. whatever. I was like, oh, okay, I could be different and only cover, you know, television, music, film, and brands. Mm. And be that, that like, like that you, you, you know, Jorge, film pillar, that's what he does. That's where you got to go. Now, brands are not confused. Yeah. If they want to push something, they're not confused about what exactly is it, is Phil all yeah. about. Where is it going to fit into it? Yeah. And I want young creatives to start thinking about that. And especially now that um, they've got resources. I mean, resources back in the day used to make mean a lot, a lot, a lot of money. Now mm. it doesn't mean that. Mm. You know, like, you know, people can put together cameras and mm. whatever, you they know. Have a cell phone. Phones are doing amazing things mm. right now. You've got access to that. Now it's time to be innovative. Mm. It's time now to be, you know, creative. Mm. That's why you're called the creatives. Mm. To be creative. Don't say, Jorge, Meiji's doing this, is working for Meiji, so I should be doing the same thing. No, find what works for you. And, and you know, the other thing is people can see and pick up when you are not passionate about something, you're just doing it because you're trying oh, to yes. get... You, you know, so people, now more than you, ever. You pick it up. Mm. Now more than you ever. Pick it up. Mm. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there are these podcasts that I watch sometimes, I'm like, you are trying too hard. <laughs> this is not for you. This is not you. No, honestly, this is not you. You are trying too hard. If you are doing this about something that you actually okay. like and actually are interested in, it would, you know, translate, translate yeah, translate more. Anyway, I'm taking too much. Uh, uh, Umcholo, how are we right now? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're not happy, No, but the thing is that, look, it's very hard to, to date when you do, when you are in this industry, let me put it that way. You know, people always ask, Jorge, why would this celebrity go date another celebrity? Why can't he go date an investment bank? Yes, yes, like yes. That? But they don't understand, Jorge. It's better to the people that you know, mm. that know the life that you live. You know, trying to explain to a doctor, Jorge, hey, 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 I have to be doing this, whatever. So can you're not you dating? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm dabbling. You're dabbling, <laughs> my nigga. <laughs> you're dabbling. He's that dabbling was, there, boy. Oh, oh, that's why he's hanging. I haven't tried. <laughs> I haven't claimed anybody yet. Let's put it that way. But are you being claimed? I don't know. Oh. Yeah. How was your, how was your marriage, man? Marriage? Damn. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> Me married. Her You're whom? You're not married? Huh? Never. How? Oh, what's happening here with this prep, my man? We need to find out. Marriage. Me married. I heard it really old thing. Yeah, it says... Read that. It says... It, it, says it, it says Phil Impeller was apparently dumped by his then fiance, who he had married and settled... And and made plans with. He said that experience tested his strength and his view of life. Hi, Bo. <laughs> hey. Hi, 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 hi. Kiss my boy, Fact checker, fact checker. You getting fired? <laughs> no, it wasn't fact checker. It's, no, it's, it's our, our producer. producer. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've never been. I've never been married. I have no interest in getting married. Oh, wow. um, Were what? you ever engaged married? though? Yeah. Were you ever engaged? Though? No. Oh. What made uh, you lose interest in marriage? I don't know, it's just not for me. Like, wow, I, I, okay. I, 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 What's your type, Phil? My type? Mm. Yo, 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 my type has to be tall. Like, why is that okay, guys? Yo, <laughs> Hey. Hey, man, I'm short. Sure. I was in Pretoria. I was in Pretoria. I was the tallest guy in the room. <laughs> oh, you like them tall, dark and handsome. Uh, no, the thing is that, I mean, I, you need to understand something. If, 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 if you know my life story, whatever. Like, I've, I've been practically raising myself since I was 17, right? Okay. Um, I came to Joburg with nothing. Couldn't even speak English fluently, you know? So I built myself. I'm the definition of self-made. Got you. You know, so that unfortunately comes with hotel oh. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, um, because I can do it. Like, I've got that thing. I, I can't relinquish control easy. Hey. I can't relinquish. So I need to date somebody so who So you're is, a top <laughs> or a bottom? Which one are we? <laughs> Carrot top. <laughs> That's why that guy came with the okay. carrot story. <laughs> <It's fulfilled. laughs> it's been wonderful. God bless you. You know what I mean? You gotta be on top if you're in control, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need somebody, somebody, somebody who's got you know, some, Yeah. Yeah. Have who's you ever been with missing? anyone famous? What, what, being as in what dated or school? Oh, like a friend? Oh, both, yeah, both, both. both. <laughs> I've never dated, yeah, but I've, 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 wow. I've, I've, I've played around with some people. Wow, <laughs> yeah. isn't that weird? Because you could never write shit about them. 
Ah, uh, but I don't write shit. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, sorry. I told you what. It's easy for me because I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't yeah. But I suppose if they if they were getting fired. Exactly. It would be awkward. No, yeah. but then again, it's not a bad thing. You're getting fired anyway. So yeah. anyway, you lose your job. You, 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 you get yeah. what I'm saying? But yeah, you know, look, it's inevitable that when you are in this industry, and I mean. I used to attend a lot of events. Yeah. Right now I'm very I, I don't come down. Um and you know, you drink, you know, you mm. meet people, you socialize with people, all the, these people mm. all the time. So inevitably at some point there's gonna be some hookups and, mm. and, and you know, you know this industry pillar, hey. Nah. <laughs> <Is your car? laughs> Man, I'd love to go to these industry parties here, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, okay. Was it normally people who are open about their sexuality or normally the people who are not see, so open? Um <sighs> what would you find? You see, with with the industry, it's, it's it's a tricky question, you know, because in the industry, um, there is I'm in the closet because I'm ashamed of being oh, yeah. known to be sleeping with, you know, so is yeah. guys or whatever. That? Oh, wait, wait, wait. So there's that, and there's also, I'm cool. I'm happy being who I am. I'm yeah. not ashamed of being who I am. However, for my career prospect, I don't want to be, you know, boxed as, you know, the gay guy, or I don't want because oh. exactly. Because there are a lot of there are, there are people within our industry who are gay, mm. and it's not like they are hiding it. Mm. It's not that nobody has ever asked them point course. blank, yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah. And they are not gonna volunteer the information. Why should they? Mm. Okay. But also, there's an element of, you know, in South Africa, once you, especially if you're an actor, once you are labeled as gay, hey, yeah. then you start to, okay, like, love you so easy, but. There's this thing where people think that being gay means you have to be so mean. So mean. Is it? Yeah. You, 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 and and, and it, it, it baffles me because we're in 2023 and I thought that had mellowed down, but I can still pick it up even now. Like, uh, who's this guy, man? Which one? He was a YouTuber. He started off as a YouTuber. Um, Which one? Man. He had a fight with Musa Kaulu. What's his name? Moshe. Oh, Moshe 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 yeah, yeah, yes, yes. yeah. See, the thing is that, um, yes, a lot of famous openly gay guys are uh, effeminate and, and yeah and, right yeah, you get what I'm saying um, but also there is there, there is a psychological thing around that as well you know you know um, for the longest time people f- find gay men who are effeminate less threatening okay you get what I'm saying mm. um one of the one of the most uh, 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 annoying thing for me personally was is the thing Yahore you know, there are people who claim that they have no issues with gay people, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. But there's a level of um, tokenism that they they use around gay people, so you become the the joke. Mm. You are the one who you are the funny one. You know, mm. <laughs> you are the whatever. And 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 that for me is problematic. However, it's a stereotype. Yeah, that feeds into why you see that the more Okay, effeminate, but, whatever yeah. gay guys in the industry are the ones that, you know, tend to prosper and tend to oh, get yeah. more attention, whatever, because they are less threatening to everybody else and, you know, they, they are treated as, you uh, know, uh, the uh. little toy. Yeah. Whatever kind of, kind of thing. And good for them. I mean, hey, they're making money out of it and, and, and that's who they are. Great for that. But, um, there are gay people in the industry who are is it true that, different. Is it true that gay people run this industry? Nah. You don't think so? I don't think so. Mm. Uh, there are a lot of gay people in the industry. Yeah. Lots. <laughs> mm, mm. In every sphere. But uh, the, the perception that they run the industry, no, because that's the thing. People will take a perception and make it so big. And if you look at where that comes from, it yeah. comes from the fact that Sumisi can't be cancelled. You reckon? Uh, it comes from that. You get what I'm saying? And the fact that uh, uh, um, the, the, the mean gays on Twitter who don't really even represent any gay fucking community because these are just, you know, miserable, you know, self-centered. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say that to oh, you. Yeah. Yeah, hey, no, no, no. <laughs> they're trying to send out my email. Hey, Quinn, trying to send out my email. <laughs> Soul says this and the sun Oh, yeah. He saw that. He sent me an email. I forgot the name, man. Yeah, yeah, There's, a, yeah. there's a, an account, bro. Yeah. Very, it's, and I think that's the one you're referring yeah. to. To. But my thing is that I mean, like um, that just because they are, there's that and they, they got the loudest voice doesn't mean that you know they represent any. Yeah. yeah. So mm. the perception that gays run this industry is not real. Mm. When you when, what when, do you when, think when, runs it? Sexual. Ah, who runs it? <laughs> 
crooks. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. oh, that's why the president hasn't signed the bill. <laughs> yeah. It sounds but like also, a... but also, you see, the thing about uh, you know, when I speak to my non South African uh, friends, I yeah. always refer to that. You know, the one thing about this country is that it is so unique at every level. Wow. You know, even in our entertainment industry, it's 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 very unique that in America. In Hollywood, how the industry operates there, you know where the power is. You know who's making money. You know what? Here, uh uh-uh. The people that you think are making money are not making money. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? The people that you're looking at and saying, ah, that guy. He's he's the the one one making money. (laughs) He's the one who is influencing these things. So it it, 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 it fascinates me all the time. That's why I love this industry so much because you literally learn something new Every so there's day. mafias involved, of course. You everywhere. Like, come on, <laughs> <laughs> you don't act all shocked. I mean, come on, <laughs> <He knows. laughs> you lie, <laughs> bro. Every every industry where there's more than a million yeah. changing heads, yeah. obviously, yeah. Okay. yes, you you gotta have. That's that. why there's no mafias in podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> there's no mafia. Nah, they are coming. coming. <laughs> they are coming. <laughs> you know. But yeah, but uh, 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 um, look. That's crazy, man. Everything music, there's mafia. He's right. Oh, exactly. So I mean, it's actually, especially in music. In music, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was getting more and more more dangerous. Eh? Fuck, so, man. Penduka, you got a question for Phil? <laughs> yeah, man. How come you're raising yourself since 17? Oh, like, oh, how did that come about? Oh, uh, no. Uh, 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 I was raised by my mother and my grandmother. So when my mother passed, I was in some... So, uh, okay. So I grew up in Koko Muruleng. I don't know if you guys have been to Muruleng. Um, Northwest. Close to Sun City, Northwest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a mining... Yeah. That, yeah the economy there is it's literally fueled by the mile, yeah. mines around. And I was never going to work in mines. Mm. <laughs> you imagine me in a mine. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, and I've always <laughs> had that thing. I'm going to make something of myself. So at 17, when, 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 um, I, I was in my trick, I was in my trick, whatever. Um, when my mother passed and it was very evident that nobody was going to help me mm. you know, go to varsity Sorry, or anything man. like that, you know, mm. I've always been pro- proactive. So I was going to say, I'm leaving. I'm going to Joburg. I don't Just know like anybody. That. Yeah. I don't know anybody in Joburg. I slept on the in Bra for two weeks you fucking when I first got me. here. Oh. Bro. You know, you know, and you know what you see happen. Go, go back station. Like you have the buses that are coming from Devon or Cape Town. Yeah. Right? Defeat a Kabu, Kabu eleven, whatever. And then whoever is in there, whatever, they will chase you out. Yeah. After those buses arrive, people are getting in and whatever. After they are finished, they chase everybody out because they have to clean so that the buses don't get too. Hey. So between eleven and two. You would have to go find something to do somewhere. Like, be, <laughs> Keep yourself busy. <laughs> oh. You can't be right there. So oh. yeah, bro. Yeah, we've we've lived. Hey, I've, I've and look at you now, there. bro. So after the two weeks, where did you crash? Um, after the two weeks, then I was able to get uh one of my aunts. Oh, family. Uh, 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 yeah, because the other thing is that um, it it's very hard for me, and and I blame my my late mother for that. She was a wonderful woman, but one thing that um. She gave me that was not so great is that um you don't express yeah your emotions to mm, people mm, mm. uh you don't let people know mm, when you're suffering mm. if you hard experience yeah, if you can, yeah like fire as hell to make it work yes part of the reason why we left uh, our breads and went to Murray is simply because uh my mother left my dad which was something that was not done in our family mm. like like, like uh, uh, one cool. yellow, you know back mm-hmm. in the day you you you, 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 you are a woman you know mm. you stick it out and mm. whatever and my mother yeah and my mother was on some I'm not doing that I'm taking mm. my child mm. and I'm going home mm. you know and so I got that from her the fact that it takes a lot for me to ask help from from somebody so you when know? else did you cry eh when else did you cry when last did I cry? Oh God! Uh, when I found out Lumkoe passed away. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lumko oh yes, yeah, uh, yeah. With the yeah, that was a friend of mine. Um, th- that was the hard cry. Yeah. Um, the dinky passing away, I kind of expected it. Huh. You know, because Which of Dinky, for, uh, dinky from, place uh, from Big Brother. Big Brother. Yeah, she dinky passed away. Yes. yes. No way. I don't know Dinky. Dinky, man. Is the, the, the big girl. Yeah, yeah. She, she was one of my favorites, man. The one, the one was, Fuck. And she dear me. She wanted to come on the show. Fuck. Yeah. She was the love of the party. Yeah. Uh, yeah, here's, here's, uh, it was sad, but um, yeah. How come? What, what, what do you mean you knew it was coming? Yeah, hi. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. What was happened? She was sick. Though? No, she wasn't sick. How did you know then it was coming? Uh the situation that she was in was I I I I expected How that. How did she pass away? Uh apparently she was poisoned. Poisoned? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, the situation that she was in um was 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 
bad to a point. I remember getting a phone call from a um around maybe it was around two or something like that, yeah. And that day I thought something was gonna happen to her. Mm. That day. Was there because a because uh, yeah? Has there been a conviction? No, 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 no. Um, the th- the thing that you know when people tell you the people with the biggest personalities are actually the ones that are actually suffering the most inside. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. And when somebody like that hits a point where she can't even pretend, oh. you know, her, yeah, it's bad. So that, this is this is horrible. Mm. So yeah. she called you that day before. No, 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 not the day she passed away. Like, uh, like a couple of weeks. Prior. No, I'm trying to qualify why I'm saying that I expected it because I'm like, I'm telling him that that day that she called me, I thought that was the day that something was going to happen to her, you know. But thank God, you know, it didn't, um, and she was able to go home, and all of that. But yeah, but you know what? Fuck it. Look, uh, 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 we shouldn't be protecting these motherfuckers. Dinky was in a very abusive relationship with that boy oh. that she was with. Um, and it's, it's you know, sometimes we say it's not our place to speak for somebody. Yes, yes, yes. You know? And um, we don't know right now what happened to Dink in terms of the poisoning. Um, I suspect that she was poisoned somewhere else, whatever. We don't know all of that, right? Yeah. But the reason why a lot of us who were friends with her we're not shocked when she passes. It's because a lot of us expected it. Huh. You know, um, one of our mutual friends, um, after she had been buried and all of that, whatever, uh, showed me a picture. And yeah. Jeez. So, so, so that's the reality that 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 people are going through. What were you talking about? Hey, you guys are getting me all emotional. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel yeah, this is deep, bro. No, 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 because you, you know, be I've been, I've been, I've been struggling with this, bro. Mm. I've been, I've been struggling with it because um, you, you, one thing you want to respect a person's choice, yeah, to reveal something about their life, but at the same time, when you don't speak up on certain things. You give certain people a pass. Yeah. Mm. Because that man right now is probably dating somebody else. Sheesh. He's moved on. Maybe there's another woman going through the same shit that... Mm. Uh, uh, Most likely. Dinky, yeah. Dinky, yeah. Dinky. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So now, how do you reconcile the two? How do you reconcile the two that, you know what? She's not here to tell her own story. But then again, somebody should be fighting for. Mm. That's for, for people to understand her story and what she was going through. And you've never been abused, eh? You know? Nah, nah, nah. You know, one thing, one thing, one thing uh, I, um, I've always been happy for, like, I didn't even realize we were poor until I got to Joburg. <laughs> 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 no, seriously, because yeah. uh, my mother, I think maybe she felt guilty about leaving my father and the mm. security that dad could have afforded me mm. and the life that dad could have afforded me. So my mother went out of her way to make sure that I had everything within the Your means, means, you know. Mm. I went to every school trip. Mm. Uh, uh, um, I had a bicycle when I needed it. Mm. I had, like my mother would actually go to town to go get my grandmother's pension. Mm. And she would bring me magazines, mm. like buy me magazines back and stuff like that. And, you know, so I, I, I grew up in a very loving um, oh. home and, and all of that. So uh, I don't know anything about abuse and all mm. of that. Um it's only when you get to Joba Kirill, so yo, people live like this. I was yeah. so we're, hey. we're going to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I live in Joba. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Film yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank man. you so much for thank coming through, man. And you know what? Ah, film out. Congratulations, guys. When are you hitting that one million? Uh, I'm very proud of you guys for what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. thank you. I'm man. very proud of Thanks, the, the platform that you've created. Yeah. You know, um, hopefully these guys will go and create other platforms, and you you become that guy who you know planted the seed. Yeah. All of this to happen, man. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations, and when you fuck up, 
You'll know I'll be, I'll, I'll be on the phone saying, hey! Oh, <laughs> no worry, vice versa, now we'll smell! <laughs> smell! <laughs> oh, thanks, thanks oh, for having me, bro. Thank you so Thank much, Phil, man. We are here, Podcast and Chill. Don't forget, 15th April, we out at Sunbed Arena. Yes. Hey. Road to 1 million. Get your tickets now if oh. you haven't. We out here, man. Boom. Hey. Bye. Yo. Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, itlesha lefiki. Bungo yig, even if when they ask you, how sabi in, do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistivi. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which 